Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time we found out that our co worker Louie decided to have a little bit of a snack and put us in crazy debt. So we headed back down to Earth and engaged in capitalism. So we landed in the Valley of Repose, temporarily lost Louie, but we found him. Everything is fine. And we found some treasure. NBD, but as you can see, more pellet posies have popped up. It's very good. We should be able to expand our roster today. But first, cutscene. Oh. We're going to learn quickly here how important capitalism is. <laughs> it's not on the nose or anything. So, the radar is not a fan of these lazy Pikmin not wanting to work. Ugh. In this economy, no wonder inflation is so bad. Lazy Pikmin. Every generation gets lazier and lazier, as you would expect. But here we go, we're gonna learn very quickly. You stand under the onion, you can get your buddies out. We raised 20 Pikmin yesterday, we were able to take down one evil villainous paper bag. So that was good. We'll let those Pikmin take care of that. And if you go over here, you can see that there are five pellet posies. There you go. Swarm it. You can have them do this. It's a little bit of a quicker method of having them take down stuff. I'd like to borrow a couple of you. Thank you. Friendship. There we go. So now we should be able to fully flesh out our roster. This is the most we'll be able to do right now. Now, if you have your uh, your co-commander Louie on your squad selected, you'll be able to pluck Pikmin twice as fast. Recommended if you're trying to hit a PB, which I'm always trying to do, of course. Let's get this going. Y'all are taking way too long. You can carry up to twice the weight of an item. That's something we learned in Pikmin 3, but just a little refresher, just in case you haven't seen that series or you forgot. That's okay. I often forget things. But something I hope you wouldn't forget, if you're enjoying this series, if you could go ahead and like the video. Throw a comment down below if you feel like it. And subscribe if you haven't. Stay up to date with all that hot d -Mike content. Alright, so there we go. We've got a full squad of 36. What could possibly go wrong? We can now tear down this bag, this bag, depending upon where you're from. We will be experiencing the first boss of the game here in a moment. This is the almighty mini bull board. We've already fought one. So this is the final boss of this area. Just kidding, it's not. This bull actually has a... Uh... I thought these red pigment would be a little bit stronger, but apparently not. Um... This bull board was hanging out here with its mom. Oof. And she is gonna be mad when she finds out what we did. Now, we will come back in a moment and uh, put her in her place. But first, we're gonna tear down this wall. You can do this in the same way that you used to with... I would like you to join them. I did not tell you not to help. Back to work. In the same way that Pikmin We'll be doing that in the, uh, actually, let's leave Louie over there. This is why having two commanders is nice. And, can I, how do we, hold on, how do I do this? I don't remember how to do anything. Can I not toss Louie? Uh, what is the point of having two of you if I can't split you up? Yeah, this, <laughs> the game is a little bit trickier to do. Okay, there you go. So you gotta hit the C button. I'm not used to these controls by any stretch of the imagination. But while those Pikmin are breaking that wall down, Lewis here is gonna go collect our other buddies. If I hold down the button, can I do this? No. Of course, gotta tap, tap, tap it in. Squad is up to a very robust 42. I'm gonna wanna use all of those Pikmin here in a moment because of the mini boss of this area, Mama Bulborb. And she is going to be mad. Our Pikmin are just 
toiling away, but in the meantime, success. They have broken down... I don't know what those are supposed to be, but... It's a massive wall. That's right. <laughs> so the radar is just going to dunk on Louie pretty much the entire game. But yeah, so there you go. You, a little bit more instruction. You can uh, use that kind of swarm whistle, the down on the D-pad is pretty handy. Or if you need your Pikmin to carefully edge against the wall, if you want to be, if you want to edge yourself for a little bit, you can do it that way. All right, so here we go, Mama Bulborb. You might be tempted to use the swarm command here. Not the best idea. I would recommend just uh, throwing them as fast as you can. This typically will overwhelm her. If you can actually have her, have them land on her. There we go, no casualties. And she spits out another pellet posy. Very cool. Murder is fun. Excellent. You can use your swarm here. It's not... <laughs> it's not the most... I would say, accurate thing to do. It takes a little bit. Alright, how about... Yeah, there you go. Hop in. And we've got another prize here. Sometimes... Oh, it's... That just takes 35. It might be easier in most instances just to toss them. It is a little annoying. You're going to probably hear that button of mine going boop, 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 as I click it. That's not what it sounds like at all, but you get the idea. And in the process, you can uh, rally your Pikmin. It's easier just to click. I mean, if you find a way to be able to... Well, there's another five. If you find a way to swarm things and you can kind of push them that way, that's fine. They tried to incorporate the Wii touch control or the Wii motion controls with this game. Not super well, but you know, there are worse games out there, I assure you. We're almost at the halfway point of the day and we already have a ton of Pikmin. So we're gonna go ahead and start a plucking. Go pluck yourself, that's for sure. Look at this. We already have 64 Pikmin. Nintendo 64, we're doing great. We'll pluck all these boys and gals. For those of you who aren't aware of that, plants have male and female parts. A little bit of A, a little bit of B. All right, so, oh, nope. <laughs> yeah, I'll just casually leave everybody behind, that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the rest of the group here. Oh, they're like, I can't live this by myself, d -Mike. this is horrible. Get there. So you can send your Pikmin in a frenzy. Should be able to send our entire squad, actually, with the, uh... Oh, oh Why is my pointer way over here? Get back. Usually you should be able to send double the amount to carry stuff. But I guess in this case it's capped us at 10 over, which is fine. That's fine, everything's fine. We're gonna learn about a new mechanic here in just a moment once these Pikmin finish carrying this absolutely monstrous crushed aluminum can back. Makes you kind of wonder what sort of beverage that was. This is only gonna take forever. Great. And because I believe all the Pikmin are technically under our control, we should be able to head in here and wait it out in this area. There's water. If you throw your Pikmin in there, we'll show what happens if you do that. Horrible choice. They will drown or start to drown, so you need to whistle them back to shore. Very cruel thing to do, but you've never seen me do that in a Pikmin Let's Play, that's for sure. But until then, a cutscene. This is the new mechanic of this game. Kind of the big gimmick. More mare is welling up from the hole in the ground before you. That's why I tell people not to stand behind me. So what is underground? You will find out today, viewers. I promise. And one of the nice things about going underground is that time does not pass. So we've collected the can. We're not kicking the can down the road anymore. This treasure is called <laughs> Utter Scrap. Oh, look, it's got a face. It's like, hey, look at me. I'm a Lumen Cane. Kind. That's exactly what it sounds like. Now, I don't know. Let's use Louie to gather the other half of the squad. I thought it would have just let me take everybody, but I don't know 
if they are, if they're technically under my command, and I would like to not just go underground with 19. So I believe this should take all of us. Oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're just going underground with these 19. That's not good. Although, I'm pretty sure that this first cave itself... Um... Oops. I don't think this first cave actually has any, uh... Doesn't have a boss. I'm pretty sure. We also only have like a third of my Pikmin, which is not good. <laughs> but the radar is here to keep us company. Wonderful. That's right. Warmer underground. And there's some treasure in here, guys. Yes. You can always communicate back with the radar if you'd like to. They are our emotional support pod. You may or may not be able to bring them on a flight. All right, I only have... <laughs> we have 19 of you. I don't even think I can carry this. How many does this take? Okay, I can't, never mind. I was gonna be really upset if I didn't have at least enough to carry the treasure back. And one of the fun, thing, fun things you can do in Pikmin is you can uh, you can fight the Bulborbs with just your captains. <laughs> and I mean, while I'm waiting, I might as well, because I have nothing else better to do, and my Pikmin are carrying some treasures. But they will fight back. So just be mindful of that. You can punch them to death, which is fun. I love killing little creatures of the, uh, of the underground. Our second treasure of the day, the citrus lump. I wonder if it was called that in Pikmin 3, I don't quite remember, but what I do remember is that we are absolutely throwing down fisticuffs with these boys. That's right, nothing that Louis and uh, Captain Olimar can't handle, throwing down with these subterranean creatures. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a squad. Squad goals. You do have the ability to take Pikmin and use them to take back enemies. You can have them carry corpses back if you want. Carry the corpse. I think I already made that joke in the other Pikmin Let's Play, so not original work, d -Mike. Let's step our game up here. And once you take them back to the pod, you will, of course, be rewarded. Here we go. So, the radar, a little bit picky on what it considers a treasure. And although they're not worth much, they're worth something, so you do have the ability to take them back. I will not probably be doing that on a regular basis just because it takes time and they're not a really good contribution to your local economy. But here you go, here's one of our one of the product placements, the quenching emblem from a old 7-Up cap. I don't think I've ever had 7-Up in bottle form. I didn't even know... And really that was much of a th I mean, obviously anything could be bottled, but... I'm not gonna pretend it doesn't exist. But if you heard that sound, the game will eventually understand that you have... successfully cleared the floor out. Subterranean level 1. It'll give you that nice sound. And as you see here, each of these little buggers, these underground bulborbs, whatever they're called, they might be called like albino bulborbs or something like that. Because they're not exposed to light, they're not that nice red color. There were two. So not great. Not bad. But that is sub-level one. We can head on down. This is the floor two entrance, the ground butthole. More treacherous terrain. And more tutorials on button pressing. Which I probably should be paying attention to. But I'm not. Also, I feel like most people probably don't face this cavern with uh, <laughs> only 19 Pikmin. But wouldn't be a D-Mike Plays Let's Play without uh, some poor choices. So here we go. Emergence Cave sub-level 2. We're going to encounter something very cool here in a little bit. I don't remember if it's on this floor. I think this floor only has two, or this cavern. I believe it only has two floors. Yep. And it will typically tell you this. Sometimes that can be a little intense, though, when you see that. Alright, 
Alright, so same thing as the case here. Kill the baby bull orbs. We're gonna leave them be. I don't really feel like doing much of it. I think. Ooh, this might be trouble. <laughs> this might be why you need uh, more than the Pikmin I have. Okay. So as you can see, there's the globe here. Around the world. Around the world. Around the world. Somehow, the top of a globe, which if you think about it, is about the size of like maybe a large basketball. Somehow that made it underground. But given the size of the Captain Olimar, which if I remember according to like an old uh, gaming magazine, I think Olimar and the Pikmin are like the size of a quarter. So, interesting. Not sure how this would have made it. That might be the size of like maybe a... Uh, like a softball or something. But this is not just a treasure. You need a hundred red Pikmin. Well, unfortunately, we don't even have a fifth of that. So we're in a little bit of trouble here. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to navigate this fiasco. It only happened to somebody who uh, managed to not take all their Pikmin with them while exploring. Who could possibly have done something like that? That's a dumb thing to do. All right, but first, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Usually if you land the Pikmin on them, it'll, yeah, there you go. So if you if you throw the Pikmin directly on top of the bull borb, it should kill them, which is what I thought I was doing, but it wasn't acknowledging it. I do kind of feel bad though killing them. They're like, ah! That's exactly what they sound like too. Compliments to uh, me for the providing the bull borb sound effect of this game, that was, Quite a few years ago, but I still feel like I got it. All right, so here is something new. Remember the candy pop buds from Pikmin 3? These ones look a little different though. Hmm. These ones appear to be a little purple. That's weird. A little purple nurple. Astounding. Underground flowers. And the Pikmin seem to be a little bothered by these flowers. Maybe we should toss them inside. Why not? Five at a time, or four at a time. Actually, I think it is five and I just missed. It appears that once again, we are able to uh, transform our Pikmin. Is this the most we can do? I want to say it's five apiece. I stop missing. <laughs> there we go. And when you've hit the maximum amount of Pikmin per flower, they will wilt. So there you go. All right, guys, let's uh, let's see what this is all about, huh? A new Pikmin type, perhaps? <gasps> oh my gourd! It's purple Pikmin. One of the new Pikmin types of this game, and my favorite type of Pikmin, as you'll see. They're very heavy and strong. It is the new type. I think it's interesting, like, the radar calls it a new type, because I don't know how it knew that there were even Pikmin in the first place, and now it's aware of the fact that this is, quote, new to Olimar and to Louie. And he says that perhaps there are others. So, I don't know, maybe. But anyway, we got ourselves 10 purple Pikmin. So purple Pikmin are very strong. They're a little slow. Like some of us. And... What you'll soon learn is that on top of the fact that they are big and strong, where is the, uh, where did I come from? Where did I come from and where did I go? Where do I come from? Pikmin Joe. So we're gonna head back up here, past all the, <laughs> past the complete massacre that I did earlier. All right. So as you can see, the, the red Pikmin are keeping up pretty well. The purple ones are struggling a little bit, that's okay. But this globe here, we would not be able to handle with just even all of the red Pikmin that we had. <laughs> Come on, purples, let's go. Boop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Let's go. We got stuff to do. All right. So I don't know how. I don't know how I switch types of Pikmin, but as you can see, the purples are required for this little bit. Each purple has the carrying capacity of ten Pikmin. So. This is fun, right? <laughs> Makes me think that they're stuck on something. Come on. Let's go. Great. All right, so let's have a little chat while we're waiting. This is taking a little bit. We'll uh, just explore. Not really much you can see here, but there'll be 
taking that treasure back. And then we'll go reconvene in a moment. But this first area, just the tutorial area, it's where you learn about the new candy pop buds. In this case, they are the violet candy pop buds. Those are the ones that will net you purple Pikmin five at a time. And then once you have successfully pulled them from the candy pop buds, they will wilt. That is the standard for pretty much anything. You can only gain five at a time. I don't know if there's an area where there's more than two candy pop buds. Sometimes they're, I think that that's the max. There may be an area with three. And if that's the case, then you can net yourself 15, but you shape shift your Pikmin, your reds will turn into purples. You will have plenty of opportunities for reds. Purples are pretty rare. So I would say just be careful and mindful of your, of your purple Pikmin. You don't want to waste them. You don't want to get them killed. You only get so many. There are opportunities to replenish your purples later on in the game, so it's not like if they die that it's the end of the world. But you'll be having to go all over the globe to get them. The Spherical Atlas. Wonderful. And there's a microchip inside the sphere. Makes me wonder what that means exactly. So what is nice is that as most Pikmin games go, when you collect anything that's resembling a map, or in this case a globe, it opens up new areas to to go. And we can check out the map now. That's been expanded because of our work. So as you see, this is the entirety of the map. There's not really much left that you can do, but we have successfully navigated the Emergence Cave, all two of the deadly floors. And when you got a full squad of Pikmin, they will gleefully sing and dance unbeknownst to their slavery. All right, so we can go ahead and get out here. This is not a ground butthole. However, this geyser will blast you up to the surface. It's quite the eruption. So all you have to do, this is the only way to get out of these caves. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Where'd the other half of our Pikmin go? Guys, whoa, 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 whoa. We are... Oh, the purples got bored. Oh, God, guys, no, 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 no. <laughs> what do we think we're doing here? That is a direct disobeyment of orders. Almost lost all, ti uh, all 10 of the purples I had. That would have been really bad. So I didn't come down here with many, and I was about to leave with even less. Okay, success. We have made it. Our guys are in the bee hole. So there you go, there's the treasures. You can collect all the dead bulwars if you want, but you don't really need to do that. But that is a cave complete, complete with confetti. We got the map, the orange, and the seven up cap. Well done, it'll tell you how many treasures there are at the end and how many Pikmin you lost, how many golds you got. So that was pretty good, a successful day. And time did not pass while we were underground. Keep that in mind. But we're still kind of in tutorial mode. I do enjoy this little jingle though that pops up when you get back. But here we go. <laughs> Olimar and his great captaincy has led us back to the surface. We have some data that needs analyzed and a report back to the president. So we did it. And what better way to celebrate a cutscene than another cutscene? And we are already being told what to do, so I guess our autonomy is very limited. We're being told that we need to hang it up. So surprisingly, a pretty progressive work structure here. Being forced to retire for the day. We've put in our full 40. So we can head into the next location tomorrow. As you can see, the purples is kind of slotted into the side of the ship. They don't get their own onion. But yes, 
That's a full day. I don't know if that was the most amount of Pikmin I could collect that day, but we'll take it. As we just kind of awkwardly blast through the trees. A little clumsy ascent. But here's today's report. We were able to net ourselves 658 gold. Very nice. Well on our way to 10,000. And we have propagated more reds and we finally were able to get ourselves a hand on some purples. And another message from the president. Baby steps first, Olimar. Plan well and don't worry about me. Our debt is with happy Hokotate. Shavings and loan after all. Well, that was one full sentence. Let me try that again. Our debt is with happy Hokotate. Shavings and loan after all. Besides, there's nothing left to repossess, so ha! Don't you love that? Really taking the whole bankruptcy thing to heart? Very nice. So there you go. That was a successful day two. And I'll see you guys next time at the Awakening Wood for day three. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. If you enjoyed this series, please like the video, comment if you want to, and subscribe. I'll see you next time for more. Bye.